Hello, VMTV. Thank you for tuning in for our latest installment. Please don't mind the hair, it's a work in progress. Right now I'm a blonde, but don't worry, I'll be a platinum blonde soon. But today we are talking a really great topic that's really dear to my heart. It's about being kind, kindness. Um, and then uh, welcome back, Dr. Marty Fowler. Thank you for joining us again. And of course, our wonderful co-host, Dana Vo. Phương Dung xin chào quý vị ở VNTV. Um, welcome back again, and I hope you have a great day so far. Thank you. I, I appreciate the invitation <laughs> back. I truly do. Thank you so much oh, for yeah, having thank me. You. So, you know, in my office, uh, Tom's office, I have the motto, I have this little sign that says, kindness matters. So why is kindness so important, Dr. Fowler? What is it within intrinsic within us? Well, you know what, I think it's really at the base of uh, all relationships mm -hmm. and the base of the human condition. Um, personally, I think it's important enough that I'm actually writing a book uh -huh. called The Power of Kindness. Wow. It's been a, a work in progress and it's slow going because I've been so busy with different sure. events and those types of uh, commitments and time, mm -hmm. but um, I'm very committed to it as well. Uh, my contention primarily is that um, if we can get through life being as kind as possible to all those around us, um, it's bound to have a ripple effect. It's bound to have um, a secondary gain beyond just the fact that it feels nice, but the people around you, the people that you attract, we talked about a yes, few minutes ago, yes. is that uh, the way you are, uh, your mindset, so to speak, and we'll talk about in a bit as well, uh, you attract your own tribe. Mm -hmm. And if you're That's a kind right. person, you'll be That's surrounded true. more yeah. you, you, by you kind people. You surround yourself with wonderful people. Yes. That's how I met you, was through <coughs> wonderful <coughs> friends, that are mutual friends. And then we're talking about kindness, not something really big. Um, you can start from small. Mm -hmm. um, if somebody do something to you, I mean, you should personally call and say thank you. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah. you know, That's like people, if yeah. the holiday come or anything, or just because, you don't have to mm -hmm. call them just because sure, it's their birthday, sure. but call them just because you think of yeah, them. And right. that is the one step moving forward to being kind. Mm -hmm. um, we're not talking about anything bigger than mm -hmm. that. And if you can do it, it's great. But I think it's always a great start to start somewhere. Well, oh, for and, sure. And then a lot of times, it's those little acts of thankfulness and mm -hmm. gratitude that really make a difference. It's not the big things. It's not buying a, your wife a car. It's like showing her how much you love her. Yeah, right? on just a daily maybe, basis. Yeah, yeah maybe right? just flowers, right? That can even have more of an impact than buying her a car, even though some women would prefer the car. Right, really, of course. A, a little note. <laughs> yeah, a little think, note, just little know, things. A little, little things. you know, messages to remind and how mm -hmm. lucky you are being yes. with your wife for 10 years. Yeah. I think that's also yeah. an act of kindness. Mm -hmm. And we go toward the holidays, so mm -hmm. I, th I think it will be a great thing yeah. for us to This is a particularly about. timely yes, topic. A, a beautiful yeah. time. It, uh, most people think about holiday as to be thankful, but if we can change our mindset and think that every day should be a thankful mm -hmm. day to everybody you know, or anything that you do, and whatever you have in life. life I think yeah. that will be a mindset we should. Oh, no, for sure. It also sure, touches sure. into what we spoke mm -hmm. about last show about treating others the way you want to be treated. Mm -hmm. yourself. Well, that's what I was going to get. You yeah, read my mind. That. That's what you hang yeah. around I, I people you, long I enough. You, we're on the same yeah, wavelength. Yeah, we are very <laughs> much so. The vibration. That's what it was. But I think, and some of you will say, "Well, you know, I've been sort of gruff in my life. I've been gruff most of my life. This is." It, I hear what you're saying, but it seems somewhat foreign to me. Okay, I don't think there's a lot of people like that, but there are some. Sure. Um, and I would tell those people, if you can, uh, think about things that make you feel happy, mm -hmm. uh, things people have done for you mm -hmm. that you appreciate, mm -hmm. and then just try to do the same things for the other people. Just like you said, uh, do unto others, have them, have them do unto you, the golden rule thing. And I think that's a simple way of starting. Sure. It's like, I, I don't even know what, you know, Dr. Marty's talking about, kindness, whatever. Um, I know that I'm not gonna kick the dog when I walk by. That's my kind act for the, that's my kind act for the day. Yeah, and but, the definition, sorry to cut you off, the definition of kindness to that, when you do something for others, you don't expect anything back. True, so you, true, that's the selfless right. kind, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a selfless uh, kind. You ask to move forward, meaning that you hope that that person will move that kindness forward to somebody else that's mm. yes. right next to them. The ripple that's effect, yeah, exactly. Called, called yes. paying it forward. Uh -huh. right. Paying yes. it forward, yeah, yes. that's a mm -hmm. famous, phrase, right, where we do something good for someone else, and hopefully uh, the universe, a uh, person does it good for someone else. So it's right. a somewhere thing. down a the road. And then again, I think the, simply the uh, uh, kind acts are 
reward unto themselves, mm -hmm. but you'd be surprised at what the, what the ripple effect can be, or even sometimes the direct effect. Mm -hmm. um, I know if, if I'm wearing some new set of clothes or a suit or something and someone... That's every day. Yeah. <laughs> you have <a> different <laughs> if, someone, if someone, a stranger on the street or somebody at a party or event, uh, compliments me, mm -hmm. I make sure I compliment them back. Mm -hmm. not, not in a false way, but in a true yeah. way. I said, you know what? If it's a guy, I say, you know, that reflects on your character too, that you have the confidence to come to a guy you don't even know and call them what, what they're wearing. Much respect, brother. Mm -hmm. um, or if a girl, you know, the cop is what I'm wearing. It's the same thing. That's how we um, are when every party and, I've seen you. Uh, right? Yeah, and, and that is also a touch base of genuine. You have mm -hmm. to really be genuine at what you're saying. Oh, you definitely. cannot be fake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it may very well be that the yes. person who compliments mm -hmm. me is also very well put. So it's a very natural thing. Mm -hmm. sure. And I actually try to, to be proactive in that as well. Mm -hmm. If I see someone put together very nicely or yeah. wearing a, a new suit or some new jewelry or new watch. Mm -hmm. um, or new hair. I, I, new hair. <laughs> there we go. I love your new hair, Dr. Kwan. Uh, I, uh, I don't really love <laughs> no, it. Yeah. It's a work in I'm progress. Oh, I told her. Genuine about it. 50% done. So let's touch back on your book a little bit. So in your book besides um, talking about kindness uh, I, I pretty sure you will talk about gratitude that is the next logical gratitude. step yes. is, yeah. is and that I think kindness sort of encompasses um, obviously kindness uh, gratitude and empathy mm -hmm. what I mentioned before about people that might say well you know I, I've sort of been shut off from uh, social functions and not really sure what exactly Dr. Mari means by, by kindness again just you think back to uh, from an empathetic standpoint, uh, go beyond yourself, uh, how you would feel, and just take that one extra leap, how the other person would feel. Yeah. Gratitude, I think, is a great example mm -hmm. to use in that. Uh, when people do nice things for me, I'm like an elephant. Mm -hmm. I never forget. Yeah. Um, yeah. When I do nice things to other people, I sometimes do, but if, they've, if I'm the recipient mm -hmm. of a kind act or, or a gentle act or a uh, helpful act, I'll never forget that. Mm -hmm. and. Um, the, the multiple gains associated with being grateful and sh expressing that gratitude is, well, the number one is that it's really the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. If there's nothing else, that's the right thing to do. Sure. But beyond that, if you want to look into that what's in it for me um, concept, well, if you're grateful to somebody and you share that, it's the rare individual who wouldn't be grateful back for you taking the time to share that gratitude. So you get an immediate response, yeah. uh, I think, from most people. Well, thanks for telling me. I didn't even think you, you had noticed or you had remembered. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then the final, real tangible, is that if it's someone uh, in any position, chances are you're thanking them for something that they did for you. If you're grateful for it and you express that gratitude, they're more, they're more inclined to want to do that same thing for you again, mm -hmm. uh, or something along those similar lines. And all of a sudden, it creates this really nice circle. And then the more they'll try to invite you to things, or include you in things, or turn you on to uh, different experiences, the more you'll be inclined to do the same thing. And again, we get back to that, that ripple. It goes around, comes around mm -hmm. uh, type yeah. of experience. And, and so for, let's say, we talk about social media. So how do you connect the kindness, the gratitude and the empathy into our social media, the, the world that we are in right now. Well, that's, that's interesting that, that, that you ask. I've had people often say, how long does it take you to prepare a post? And I'm like, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes? Mm -hmm. Because I try, uh, I still feel like I'm new to the social scene <laughs> in San Diego. It's been about six, seven years. I still think I'm a relative newcomer. Well, but so, you're the great Gatsby of San Diego, so <laughs> <laughs> you, whatever you establish yeah. is quick and effective and uh, very powerful. The big house right. parties and rancho yeah, help, that's friend. for yeah. sure. Oh. But um, <laughs> I, whenever I post a, uh, a post, I can't just post a picture um, with Dr. Qua and Dana over at VNTV. It has to be, yeah. you know, where we were the date, yeah. Uh, thank you for welcoming me, uh, and go into the details and make sure I get everyone's um, uh, names highlighted, sure. you know, from the Facebook, and then if I can figure out what the hashtags are that, that are appropriate uh, for <laughs> yeah. them, put those hashtags sure. in. And in fact, interestingly enough, I realized that I end virtually ev every post that I have with um, um, good friends, good times, good vibes, mm -hmm. attitude of gratitude, Gratitude and grateful. Mm -hmm. That's like I. I don't think I ever not not post that. Mm -hmm. Except I think I posted from a 9/11 mm -hmm. event, and I, I'm I'm not sure there was a rather somber, solemn event. I don't think I I used any of those those particular phrases. But, but you, in general, um, but you. Uh, what I want to share that there young kids 
that look up to all these messages, do you have any message to share with them to make sure that they understand not 100% on Facebook is real? Because, you know, Oh, of course. I see, what, I, I see the that, distinction what of what I'm you're about. asking. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, that it's not real life. Well, I do try to, to put in... Because for uh, you, maybe it's real, mm -hmm. but and then for a lot of people, it's just a facade of how they want to portray their life, but it's not really the, yeah. the real life that they have. True, the same thing and that's very true. So when you look yeah. through a magazine and you look that beautiful and skinny own pretty woman, it doesn't mean it's real. So a lot of that phone image hurting our young generation uh, as we speak right now, that they think that, okay, that's the ideal look and they put themselves through a lot of suffering mm. to go there even though it's not real and they don't know that yeah. it's not. Um, no, that's a, that's a very good message to, uh, to get across. Um, for myself, I try to incorporate in my social media, mm -hmm. the Dr. Marty on uh, Instagram and Marty Fowler on Facebook, uh, incorporate in my, my posts from different parties and fashion shows <laughs> or nightclubs. You um, look fabulous uh, in every post, by the way. Oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah, I always that. always make sure I call they, it. Uh, thank you. I put the fire hashtag. <laughs> yes, you know, I appreciate this that. This fire. It doesn't go unnoticed. <laughs> thank you. Um, Be careful. We may have another Mr. Gatsby in San Diego. <laughs> uh, yes. About the no, no, sure. No, no, I, no, no, I put no, you no. in the same category, <laughs> Dr. Kwa. I appreciate your kind <laughs> words, but I have to say the same about you. But um, I try to put in there um, some professional um, activities mm -hmm. and um, charitable uh, associations and uh, functions that I attend and uh, groups that I'm uh, active with. Um, but I always do have a, try to have a, a theme of, of being grateful. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, that's not what you're asking. You're asking about uh, trying to change your, or um, guide the young people so they realize that a lot of social media is just for that moment and the rest of, yeah, the rest of life is, isn't thoughts. like mm -hmm. that. Please. Mm -hmm. so, a lot of youth, they look to social media, they look to the, because the commercials, they show models, right? Mm -hmm. They see Victoria's Secret models, but they don't realize that these women, the, the genetics has a big role to play. Everyone has a certain body structure, and it's about being the best of who you are. Yes. And so a lot of young children, unfortunately, don't see that. They think, oh, I can diet, I can take this, I can, you know, do lipo or, you know, whatever the case may be, and they put their harm, their bodies at risk of, do, you know, trying to get that perfection. But no one is perfect, and these women aren't. They spend endless hours at the gym. They have nutritionists that monitor their every single calorie, right? And so, on top of being genetically blessed, these women have the top notch, you know. And so, I think it's really unfair for the children. So we have to educate them. Right. Tell right. them this is a reality. You know, this is it's not. Well, well, Dove, Dove soap, the Dove soap company, um, ran a, a campaign. A couple of years ago, mm -hmm. with sort of like the every woman. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I remember that. Every and it, and I think it was it was met with a great deal yeah, of mm -hmm. approval by everybody, mm -hmm. uh, anywhere along the appearance spectrum. But about the kids, it's it's getting crazy. I mean, kids are getting Botox at yeah, 16, 18 Gosh. years old. They, they're getting lip filler it's like so like like there's nothing. Yeah. Um, you know, some of their fast. some of their, their their role models on on uh, social media. Mm -hmm. Uh, are doing these things, but that's what their what their roles in, in yeah, life are. But I, every I person doesn't need. I see twelve year olds. I look like they're eighteen. Yeah, they're about yeah. to be in eighth grade. They look so, like they're going to college. Yeah, they, yes. they forget being kids. Yeah. Right, I think that right. the, the main key we want to emphasize that you have every woman, every person is different and beautiful in their own way. Yes, yes. and that if you yes. are you Very loving true. yourself and mm -hmm. you have that confidence and you just have to really know what your body need and mm -hmm. eating healthy, mm -hmm. sleep well. And that will, you know, you yes. become the model of yourself, mm -hmm. and, and you don't need to. And I think the most important, one of the most important mm -hmm. things is our mindset. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Having that positive Definitely. energy, the mindset, mm -hmm. knowing, be confident within yourself mm -hmm. that you are who you are, and you're beautiful. Thank you so much again for coming and visit us again at VNTV. And um, to end the show today, I have two messages that I want to share with both of you and okay. everyone at VNTV and everybody out yeah, there. And yeah. I, I could start with a grateful um, quote, and it's a, a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. I and love I believe we touched on about that. that. And yeah. another one is the secret to having it all you know that you already do. Mm. And we all very grateful and we are very happy for what we have and we plus to have our world in peace and um, every day, sunny day at yes. San Diego. So yes. thank you. And then um, I want to close it off by talking about just our mindset because our mind is the most powerful force in this universe. Um, it can make us happy, it can make us sad, 
can transform the world. So I think my key was finding my own strength was being that, find that positive energy within yourself. And I think everyone has that potential. I know it's hard. Life gives us twisters, storms, typhoons, hurricanes, everything within our own mind. But if we really, we stay strong, reach out for our loved ones and really, you know, know that we're very powerful and we can overcome anything as long as we're, we, we have it in our heart and our mind. So I want to thank you, Dr. Fowler, for- Thank you, a beautiful way to end this show, both so of you. Thank, thank you, Dana. Dana. As always- Be kind to everyone. Yes. Thank yes. you, have a great day. Thank you, Bye -bye. have a great day. Thank you.